Hello YouTubers, this is the Tree and 60 Fun and in today's tutorial I'll be talking about making watercolor paintings using the Affinity Suit. In this particular video I'm using Affinity Photo. However, if you have those raster brushes in Affinity Designer, you can make and reciprocate this exactly the same way in it too. Uh, before I move ahead, I would recommend you to kindly hit the subscribe button and check out my other videos on the Affinity Suit, Latex and other Windows tutorials as well and uh, kindly hit the bell icon as well. So let us begin. So uh, earlier I had posted some of the images of the watercolor painting in Affinity Group and I had uh, received a number of responses which said that they wanted tutorials to follow on how I did it and this image was uh, one of them and this is a watercolor painting which I just made here using affinity photo so I'll be talking about this in a while and uh, so let us begin so uh, before I make any watercolor painting in affinity suit what I usually do is first I just make a sample shape of what I want uh, using the shape tool. So I suppose I want something uh, in this fashion and I want this to be uh, a watercolor image, uh, something that looks like a watercolor painting. So what I usually do is first I select a shape and add some image which is identical to what it would look in the painting so suppose this is blue so let me just enlarge it so that you can uh, see it clearly so after doing this what i do is i then select go to the brushes panel and i select the watercolor brushes so you can select the brush as per your choice so let me just try with this and i select the paint brush too so what I usually do here is first I select the light color uh, behind and now I'm going to add some highlights using the darker brush too. So and remember these controls like opacity, flow, hardness, these are quite important when it comes to watercolor painting. You can see that the color is basically within the shape and this helps us make the painting look fabulous. So what I usually do in this uh, painting uh, is that I first select a higher opacity and then I gradually reduce it. So let me increase the width and here we go, here we go. I'm doing this using a simple mouse, Logitech mouse, nothing special in it. If you have a, a stylus or something else or a graphic tablet, maybe the results will be much more finer. And then what we'll do is we'll be repeating the layers one after the other. And when we re repeatedly apply layers, we're going to see gradually the color blends in. I, uh, this is not just one way how you can achieve this in Affinity Designer, there are a couple of other ways to uh, but this is the general way in which I do it so now let me go to something a little lighter and I want to just and then the hardness thing is quite high I'm going to reduce that as well and there we go now this is still too dark for it and as I move ahead, I would say that uh, it is important to know some of the principles of watercolor and I would recommend you to go through the book by Walter Foster on watercolors. It will surely help you in understanding the color theory and other principles which are quite important when it comes to painting or watercolor. So here you can see gradually I'm just blending it here. and there we go i just selected a single brush i did not apply multiple brushes on it and this is it you can see now this looks somewhat like a watercolor painting so there's the layer of watercolor on top of it 
you can align it you can just uh, you can then add additional filters on it like uh, from the layers effect you can add certain effects there you can change the color contrast levels you can just make them more poppy you can see there so and one more important thing is uh, usually when we paint in watercolor we do not pay we do not have a white color or we do not use a white color whenever we are painting uh, in uh, using watercolors on paper so I would prefer to keep that principle here as well so suppose if I'm making something like a grass if I'm making a grass I would not use a green shape behind but rather I would just do uh, do use the brushes to make the same effect so let me just reduce the width and opacity a little bit higher okay so for the time being let's remove the shape uh, and now I'm going to show you the painting of a grass so here's it and there we go I'm just showing you it in the most basic way that's possible and suppose there's the grass so I'm not applying a background layer for it I'm just placing the color on top of it now I'm gonna go to the light colors now and one more important thing to notice in watercolors is that we first apply the lighter colors and then the darker colors so you can see why this uh, painting usually pops off whenever i'm using a darker color so i'd rather prefer to keep the darker colors for the latter part of it as we normally do or using the real watercolor and paper concept and an important application of it is using the color theory which we normally use in paintings so I've already mentioned the book which can be followed for it and I would recommend you to kindly see it and it will surely help you out so this was just a basic uh, grass thing or suppose I can just improve it a bit more so let me just go to greens take a much larger width of it and there we go here you see now the painting as i apply more and more layers on top of it will start to pop off and look better now a bit darker now let me increase the opacity so that i can make it a little darker a bit more of hardness and there you go more hard and less opacity more width there you go there you go so this is the way to incorporate paintings uh, in affinity photo or designer using the watercolor brushes so let me just show you how I made this painting of strawberry uh, using the same brushes so if you can look this is a single group I open it I have this additional group this was a layers adjustment which made the color stronger there was a layer of gradients or which I made with the brush so if I remove this you can see it's just a flat color if I own this yes uh, we can see the light and shade in the painting and now if I add the color levels adjustment it pops up similarly for the uh, upper stem of the strawberry you can see there's a layers filter or uh, levels filter and if I own it uh, it starts to pop off uh, and enhance the colors a bit 
and you can see the same principle I've applied here as well. There's a pixel layer of watercolor brushes and that simply makes it look like a watercolor painting. You can incorporate this technique or other objects which you see in your everyday life and try to make out some paintings on it. So if you have enjoyed this video, please do not forget to hit the like button and I would be happy if you would be if you leave out some comments as to how the video has been made and any new videos which you would like on the affinity series or any other tutorials I'd love to hear them as well. Thanks for watching. For more videos visit www.the360fundaweblly.com or www.youtube.com slash the 360 fun. And if you and if you have enjoyed this video, please do not forget to subscribe us. Thanks for watching. Thank you.